Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Babe Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. And this one is for Wednesday, April 4th, 5th, April 5th. Now we're going to read our Bible verse first and then our inspirational story. Here's our Bible verse. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 and 5. Now our inspirational story. Mr. Selby, you can't take that into the operating room. You'll have to leave it with your wife, the nurse said. My dad tightened his grip around the tiny metal cross in his right hand. Then I won't have surgery, he stated. The cross was a gift from my daughter to her pawpaw, engraved with the words, God loves you. He had found great comfort by carrying it into multiple surgeries. But you know you really need this, this heart stent, the nurse pleaded. Nope, not without my cross. Eventually the nurse gave in, and the staff wheeled him down the hall cross in hand. Dad had endured so many procedures that he had, I had lost count. Each time in the pre-surgery room, he joked and laughed and acted confident, but I realized he had to be afraid. Outcomes were always uncertain, and recoveries were often painful. I think holding the metal cross reassured him that he wouldn't be alone during the operation. The Father of Compassion and the God of all comfort, 2 Corinthians 1, 3, would stay by his side, guiding the doctors and protecting my dad's life. Clutching the cross brings me comfort and courage in moments of dread and fear, whether it is a physical cross or the knowledge of the cross of Jesus. It reassures me that God is everywhere at all times and through all scary experiences. Becky Alexander Face step, make or purchase a cross of any material, two inches tall by one inch wide. Squeeze it tightly as needed. Well, I think we can all benefit from that. Please remember that I love you and so does Jesus, and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.